Okie dokie, Radio Grade 10s. Uh, everybody excited for this day? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to get started here on your very first ellipse construction. Are you ready for it? Yes, sir. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I'd like you to pay attention. On the given page, and this can be, you can also take any rough piece of paper and help yourself out. They're going to give you a main axis, which is the longer one, and they will give you a secondary axis, which will be the shorter one. Okay? A with us in a secondary us. That is, in other words, the maximum diameter and the minimum diameter of this ellipse. They want your ellipse to pass through those four points. Happy? So in this case, they've given it to you in later times. They're just going to say the main axis is 100 and the secondary axis is, axis is 60 or whatever. Okay? So they're going to say that this is 100, this is 60, but you have to use it yourself. Okay. So to start off your lips, you need this. You need a center line, like they've given here with you, and they, you have a maximum and a secondary diameter. Okay. This is page 418 of the HSE workbook, if you were wondering where am I getting this. But, regardless, this is how you do it. So the first step you do, pick any side. I like to work on the top left hand corner. First step, you do it right with me. Construction line. Duidelijk en uit einde. Construction line. Vanaf a maximum tot by a minimum. Right from a maximum to a minimum, draw a... So it's the major axis and the minor axis is another word. Okay? With us and never us. Major axis, minor axis, or Afrikaans, the with us and the never us. Okay? So fun of the with us, not the never us. Try like. I'm a bain, I'm a blay. Next one, you take your compass and you're going to set it in the middle. Up to the major, yes or no? And you are going to draw a construction arc to the vertical position. Okay? So, I weiß weer as jy gaan mis het. Jy moet dit nou saam met my doen. Van die middelpunt af, op die einde, dis jou radius, jy trek a boog. Mr. Wilson, you have your drawing instruments. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, everybody with me? Yes. Right, next step. On that minor to this point that you've just determined. So every construction that you've done up to now was to determine this point here. So using that, I'm now going to swivel it back to that first line that I've drawn. People, how easy is that? Okay. So the first step was vanaf my hoof as na my neve as, line getrek. Tweede step, vanaf die middelpunt na die hoof as, a boog in een van die kwarte. Okay, full arc. Then I go to this point here, bring it back, and from this point, I'm going to bring it to this side. Happy or, or sad? Okay, you are right. All of this construction was to determine this, this, this. This is what I try to determine now, that line. Okay? That's the, the trouble that I've gone through was to determine it. Now you're going to do something that you've already know how to do. You're going to do a perpendicular by sector. You're going to do a short gedeelte, not a geel gedeelte, gaan jy a middle load line track. How do I do that? How do I draw that? Middle load line. Help me out. Yes. Yes. With confidence. What do I do? Who do I load right the middle line? So, but I can name a group. What do you say? Thank you. Yes, more than half. Yes, do you remember this? All right. You can make it as big as you want. We're going to do an arc on this side. Arc on this side. We're going to flip it. Arc on this side, 
arc on that side. Now I've determined two points. That one and that one. Yes or no? Yes. Right. Take my ruler with my pencil and through those lines I now draw a construction line. Don't worry here where it ends up. You draw with confidence. This is the steps. Construction line. Tip. Okay? And if you need to, you can lengthen the bottom. Okay. What do you say about that? I'm going to repeat myself quickly. First line that I drew was from the major to the minor. Second one that I did was from the minor, oh sorry, from the center, big arc. Now that I have that point, Pencil stays on that point, bring it in, and I'm going to bring it back to that first line. I did all of that to determine this yellow distance. That I do a perpendicular bisector with confidence, all the way through to where it gets to this minor axis. And if I have to lengthen it, I do. All of this trouble up to now was to determine two points. That one there, and that one there. That's all of this trouble was to determine those two points. Yes or no? Yes. All right. What do you think I'm going to do next? I'm going to have to copy these onto the other side. So I can go here, take that distance, bring it across, make a dot. I didn't make clear dots here so you see what I'm talking about. Okay. So there I've copied this one, I've copied here. Yeah? How do I get this one to the top? Same, same. Yes? Okay. Gonna flip that. Okay. And if I need to extend it, I extend it. I'm not mad at anybody, not stressed, not worried, no anxiety. Let's do it. I'll zoom out now for you to see. Okay, so if I take a look here, that's what I have. Okay. So you understood how I get to this point? Then I take my compass, set it here, that distance, I copy it to this side, make a dot with confidence. One at the bottom, the same. Take it, flip it, even extend it if I need to, make a dot with confidence. Yes or no? Alright, next step is I have to repeat this line to the others. So I'm going to go zoop. Okay. And then what? Flip it. Lots of lines. Now, this is now we get into engineering graphics and design. Up to now, you guys have been cruising. Thinking we're doing freehand drawings the whole year. No. We are going to have to get now serious. Okay. Anybody that wants me to repeat the step here? Iemand wat wil ek moet iets herhaal. Nou sit geleentheid in die vrouw. Yes. Did you get the, did you get these two? Yes. Alright. Did you get this one? Oh yes. Okay. Did you get the one on top? Um, yeah, I think you just take the bottom one and then you flip it in. Yeah, that's it. Anybody else wants me to repeat the step here? Come, with self vertrouwen. Is jylle reg? Yeah. Okay. Good. So now the hard work is done. Now if you've done this, you can just, uh, with confidence, finish it off. Remember, I'm going to use this green now. The ones that we that's important is those two and those two. Can my lips be bigger than that? The construction is massive, but my drawing can't be bigger than that. But the points that I'm going to use here is these four orange points. So on the bottom, put your compass, set it to that first one that was given to you, and you draw an arc now from that first line that we draw, and you can draw it nice and dark all the way to, sorry, to that point. So there's some movement here on my compass. Again. Okay. 
Okay, I'm drawing nice and thick so you can, can see. That's the first one. Happy? Do I change my radius? I shouldn't because if I'm accurate, if I put it now on the top, it should also line up, okay? Okay. See And same thing. That's the distance. Yes or no? Yes. See you Is that distance? Is the same as that distance? Yes. Okay. What do you think is going to be the last two steps? Onto that edge. And if you correct, that should line up with that. And it should line up with the bottom. Okay. And it's going to be the same on the other side. So you can check your three. So if I have to show that, that is the radius for this one. This is the radius for this one. This one goes all the way to here. And the top one goes all the way Is there an easier way to draw an ellipse? I still need to know about it. Okay? This is how you absolutely smack an ellipse. Happy? How many of you are close to finish? Okay, good. Yes, Mina. You wanted me to draw to show you how to get this? This one? Okay, this. Okay. So do you have these two points? All right. Do you have this line and that line? All right. So you're going to set your compass on that point and on that end there. And that should then meet up with those two. So these lines shall tell you where they meet. Ne? Dit is een mooi duidelijk teken. Hierdie lijn is een schitslijn. Dit is eerstens geweest om die oranje punten te krijgen. En in die tweede plek was het waar, waar je cirkels mekaar ontmoet. Oké, okay, dat is een goed start to this drawing. Yes. This one. This. Okay, look at, here I, this is why I've drawn this for you. The orange point, you have that orange point. Okay, so you're setting the radius onto that green point. Got it. And that draws the arc. Flip it, and it should be the same for that one. So that's, that, that's why I'm doing this arrow for you, to show where that curve runs. Yes? Okay, I'm going to move over and I'm going to do the next one and I'm going to be a bit quicker, but I want you to follow me. Now they've put it at an angle. Glory, why? Has this changed? Major and minor. Major and minor. All right, what's the first step? Help me out. Four years to stop. Come. Yes, major to minor. Wolf us, not never us. Construction lane. Yes or no? Second step, compass from the center. Come, you have to stand with your hand behind you. See, to the from the major to the minor. Yes. Next step, minor back to that line that I drew initially, construction line. All of that was to determine this line. I'm going to just draw it very lightly. That's the one that we did. All the trouble to get that line. What do I do now? Bisect it. Ek moet hom al veer. Enige groote groter as die boog die kant. Boog die kant. Flip vorm. 
Daai kant en daai kant. Teken om met selfvertroue. The line that I just drew is the most important line that you will draw this whole day. There it is. Nice and dark for you. That's all the trouble I did to get that one. And that determines for me two points. This one here and this one. And I'll do an orange circle around it. Okay, quickly, just a quick refresher. So the G minor, major. Eerste line, tip. Vat jy jou passer. Vanaf die middel, duidelik en uiteindelik, groot boog. Dan vanaf daar die punt, daai afstand, terug. Al die moeite om daai afstand te kry. Dan vat ek op daai lijn, moet ek een middel loodlijn trek. So enige groote, tip, tip, draai vir hom om, tip, tip. Dit geef jy daai twee punte, jy trek jou middel loodlijn. Jou middel loodlijn is die belangrikste lijn op hierdie tekening en hy bepaal vir jou daai twee punte. What do I do next? I have to copy these over. So I'm going to use that compass, tip, take that distance, flip it, there it is, make a dot. Next one. There it is. Flip it. Make a dot. Okay, and I can make them orange for you if you want to be sure you don't miss it. Next step, construction line. Tip, the second most important line that you've drawn today. The third most important and the fourth most important. And you can go, and if you have a highlighter and you're still practicing yourself, Draw it in nice and dark because these are the most important parts of the ellipse to get to this place where you have that. If you have that and you've got your four dots, you don't have to think anymore. Dan denk jy nie meer jy ontspan, jy relax, jy vat vol met selfvertrouwe, skerpunt op jou ranja korrekie, na die groen. It cannot be bigger than that. I can't guess it somewhere here or where. No, you go to that one. And you draw your arc with confidence. If you flip it from that orange, don't some kids go and they go to this point. That's not right. All right. And they should line up. And you draw your next arc. Okay. Last one. On this one. They should line up with that. If I line up there. That should meet up with this and should meet up with that one. Who feel it will lekker as you recht kry nie? Ja, niks beter nie. Okay, and that radius should work on this side as well. You can double check it for yourself. And that is how you absolutely smack an ellipse. You need to be able to draw this in the middle of the day or at the night, remembering the different steps that we've talked about. Radio, thank you so much for watching. We're under 20 minutes. We've done two ellipses. You've learned the basic sets of how to draw an ellipse using different construction techniques, and you should be able to absolutely smack it. Thank you so much for watching. Now it's your turn.